During the very early hours of Tuesday, the 19th of September, while most of America was still asleep, Rocket Lab, a US-based rocket company, was gearing up for its 41st overall launch. We will never desert you for Capella Space. Backed by a beautiful sunset on the Mahia Peninsula in New Zealand, the Electron rocket was poised to carry its fourth Capella Acadia 3rd Gen SAR Earth Observation Satellite to orbit. This would have been Rocket Lab and Capella's fourth successful flight in a row. This would have been Rocket Lab's ninth flight this year and their 20th successful flight in a row. The last time Rocket Lab had a launch failure was all the way back on Saturday, the 15th of May, 2021, which was 854 days or two years, four months, and one day ago. Quite an impressive streak for such a young company still under 50 total launches. After a brief hold in the countdown for space weather, which was most likely due to increased northern light activity, we heard the webcast hosts say, Welcome back. Great news from Mission Control. We have recycled the count. And we are now listening. And then, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The Electron rocket successfully took off from the rather newly built Launch Complex 1B down on the Mahia Peninsula in New Zealand at 12.55 a.m. Pacific time. We switched over to onboard footage and heard nothing but good callouts for the first stage's performance on the ride uphill. We then had Miko, which is main engine cutoff, quickly followed by stage separation, and this is where things got a little dicey. The video feed cuts out for a brief second and then re-establishes connection just moments before an attempted second engine startup. The video feed instantly cuts out after attempted ignition, but the telemetry kept rolling, just not in the correct direction. You can see what appears to be startup with a bunch of sparks which have been noted in previous launches. We've seen Astra struggle with second stages in the past and even got to go for a little ride on one of their first stages after it failed to ignite all of its engines, but somehow managed to maintain the video feed. Rocket Lab quickly posted a press release on Business Wire noting that they will work closely with the FAA and supporting agencies to identify the cause and implement corrective actions and return to the pad shortly. If you think back to where SpaceX was after only 41 launches, and you know what they've taught us about rapid design changes, this is to be expected and will only make Rocket Lab's operations stronger and more reliable in the future. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Marvin Marshall with the Space Report News, signing off.